Cholesterol is transported around the body by lipoproteins. Lipoproteins are made in the liver and contain varying degrees of triglycerides, phospholipids, cholesterol and proteins. The aim of lipoproteins is to deliver these molecules throughout the body where they are needed. Triglycerides, for example, are used as a source of energy, phospholipids as components of cell membranes, and cholesterol has many functions which will be discussed shortly. Lipoproteins are categorised in relation to their densities, and so you may have heard them typically referred to as either high density or low density lipoproteins. Low density lipoproteins are made in the liver and transport cholesterol to the peripheries where it is needed. High density lipoproteins are also made in the liver and contain low amounts of cholesterol. Their aim is to retrieve any surplus cholesterol in the body and return it to the liver where it can be packaged into bile acids or into low density lipoproteins. Cholesterol is strongly implicated in the disease process of atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis occurs when there is endothelial damage, and this leads to the infiltration of macrophages into the tunica intima of arterial blood vessels. Circulating cholesterol, which is being transported via low-density lipoproteins, enters the tunica intima and is endocytosed by the macrophages via LDL receptors known as scavenger receptors on the macrophage. These macrophages then become saturated with lipids and are known as foam cells. Eventually, these foam cells break down and the resulting collection of lipids forms the beginnings of an atheromatous plaque. Proliferation of this plaque causes narrowing of the artery, which can result in thrombosis and result in ischemia or infarction. Statins are a group of drugs used to lower blood cholesterol in patients in order to prevent the progression of atherosclerotic disease, which can lead to myocardial infarction and ischemic stroke. Whilst some cholesterol is absorbed in the diet, a lot of it is synthesized in the liver from glucose. In glycolysis, glucose is converted into pyruvate and subsequently acetyl-CoA in the mitochondria. The liver then turns acetyl-CoA into cholesterol, first by converting it into hydroxymethylglutaryl-CoA, or HMG-CoA. An enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase then produces mevalonic acid and eventually cholesterol, which is used to produce steroid hormones, cell membranes and bile acids. Statins work by preventing cholesterol synthesis by inhibiting HMG-CoA reductase, which is the enzyme involved in the rate-limiting step in this synthesis pathway. As a result of reduced de novo cholesterol synthesis, the liver upregulates its hepatic LDL receptors in order to scavenge cholesterol from LDLs that are circulating in the blood. This reduces the level of LDL cholesterol in the blood, and thus the process of atherosclerosis is slowed and in some cases reversed, resulting in regression of plaques.